Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Today I'd like to talk to you about hydraulic clutch issues. If your motorcycle has a hydraulic clutch lever and a reservoir that looks like this, you do have a hydraulic clutch. The hydraulic clutch has three main components. A, a master cylinder. B, the hydraulic clutch line that goes all the way down to this area where is hydraulic slave cylinder. I'm going to pull this cover off and show you what it looks like. This is what the slave cylinder looks like. You see the hydraulic li clutch line coming to it right there. And it's going to be the same setup on all motorcycles with hydraulic clutches. The covers might vary, the way to get to it might vary. It might be a whole big cover on the Kawasaki's, Vulcans, you got to take off. But it's always in this location, it's always on the left side. And you're always going to have the hydraulic master cylinder right on the handlebars. The way the system works is you have basically a piston right here just like on a brake where it pushes the fluid right through a little cylinder right here so this will hold the brake fluid you will have a cylinder here that when you push this lever the the piston will push that fluid through the lines all the way down here when you introduce the pressure from the top to this cylinder which also has a little piston it pushes that piston this direction imagine this is your your weight of the engine you have a push rod going this way so the piston will push right there and the clutch that is underneath this cover on this side will be able to separate and you can shift gears so now you understand how it works this will help you understand what issues you could have normally they will affect the functionality of this system is loss of pressure a loss of pressure usually happens because you have a leak somewhere. When you have a leak, your fluid will go down here. You're not going to realize it because most people don't ever check that. And one day you press that lever and you have no pressure, meaning nothing's happening here, meaning you can't change gears. So if you do have a leak up here, you're going to realize it pretty easily because you're going to have a brake fluid running down your, your lever. So when you touch it, you're going to feel it. It's going to get wet right here and it's going to be something that you detect before it becomes a, a problem to the point that you can't ride the motorcycle if you do have a busted line somewhere it's going to be spraying a brake fluid you're going to lose pressure very quickly you're probably not going to be able to ride the sneaky uh, problem that this bike has which i see in a lot of older bikes for example this bike is from the late 80s uh, is that you have a slow leak on the slave cylinder down here you can see this uh, this paint is uh, e getting eaten up by the brake fluid this leak is very slow it takes a couple months before um, it happens but this owner already had a problem where the bike was running fine and he was out on the ride and all of a sudden he hit the clutch and the brake fluid went down low enough that he lost pressure so what are we gonna do we're gonna take this out and we're gonna put a rebuild kit in it this particular motorcycle has two bolts, one top, one bottom to hold the slave cylinder and I already loosened up my uh, my banjo bolt here so I placed my uh, drain pan under it because you're gonna lose all your fluid and we can pull the, the cylinder right out of the way throw it down here for now so this is the push rod that I was telling you about. It goes right through the engine. This is just part of it. It's usually a two-piece deal. So, uh, and you have an oil seal here. It's also a good time to inspect the oil seal. If you don't see any oil, all we see is this peeling paint. So that's our brake fluid leak, but no oil. So we are good there. It's up to you if you feel like you want to replace your oil seal while you're here, but it's pretty easily accessible. So. I would say if it's not leaking, leave it alone. You can see this uh, slave cylinder looks pretty nasty, but I'm pretty sure that inside it's going to be in good shape. We're just going to need the new rubber seal. So we're going to put it up on the table and take it apart. Okay, I cleaned this a little bit with my wire brush and then uh, with the screwdriver I just popped this little cover off. You can see how dirty it is inside. It was sitting on it like so. Like I said, different bikes have a little different setups. And now we have this piston right in here. Uh, the reason why you really don't need to pump it out, uh, like I have a big socket here, I can just bang it 
and uh, it, it comes out easy so this is what the piston looks like and look how nasty is this inside as bad as it looks it's mostly just dirt and grime we'll be able to with the fine sandpaper clean it right up and we have our new seal right here that goes in here and hopefully we'll put it back together and everything should be just fine okay guys so here are my components ready to go this thing cleaned up pretty good so did the the piston uh, I use little 220 uh, sandpaper you know I'm gonna hurt nothing with that um, I pull the spring that goes in this way just take take a note when you're taking stuff apart how how it goes back together and uh, I gotta pop in my new seal the seal again take a note when you're taking it apart it goes with the open end in I'm gonna try to do this one handed it should just pop pop on pretty easily alright that's it it's on there I'm gonna put our spring back on before I put the piston back in I like to coat it a little bit with the brake fluid make it slide in easier it shouldn't be that hard to put it in much easier with two hands but I think I can make make it work there you go just push it in like so and we're gonna put this cover top it on with the rubber mallet and uh, we're ready to start putting this thing back together okay our slave cylinder is uh, ready to go back it's all back together we got our line attached make sure you get both washers on my bolts are on and now we're gonna go and uh, bleed our system I made a video recently on another motorcycle how to bleed the clutch we're gonna proceed with the same same procedure uh, you can look in this corner right here on that video just to get another reference to see that this system works if you don't have a vacuum pump you can do it uh, like this okay guys first what we're gonna do we're gonna undo our line don't lose your washers we're gonna cover the hole with your finger then we're gonna prime the line you see how quickly it got primed I pressed it slowly a couple times we got the fluid up into the piston and the cylinder now while I'm still holding it I'm gonna tighten this banjo bolt back up and I can start pumping the fluid and you're usually gonna feel some pressure make sure you cover up your paint real good because it will damage it the dot 4 fluid will damage your paint and uh, I, I cup I got an old rags right next to the line where it's gonna be leaking out I'm gonna wrap it and then we're gonna start bleeding it just like a car pump it up a few times let it go and you're gonna see the air and the fluid starting to come out I'm gonna add more fluid here When you start getting close, the fluid's gonna want to spray out here, so it's a good idea to cover it up just loosely. You don't have to screw it down, just cover it up. So now I feel like I'm starting to push fluid down. So I'm going to move down to the slave cylinder and loosen up the bleeder bolt there. Here I like to use a little piece of line because you can start seeing the fluid and the bubbles. You don't have to. So I'm going to presume that you don't have one. So I'm going to take it off but if you do it's a really helpful tool. So now I'm pumping up on top. I just heard all that air that came out. I'm starting to have fluid coming out and I'm starting to feel pretty good pressure in my lever. Now after I'm feeling pretty good lever what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna loosen up and watch the bubbles come out without doing anything and then I lightly press my clutch lever to start seeing the fluid if it's just fluid coming out I'm gonna tighten it back up 
I only pressed it in slowly. That's it. It's tightened back up. So I loosened it, watched the bubbles, pressed the lever slowly, saw the fluid coming out, didn't really see any more bubbles, closed it back up, and my clutch feels very good right now. Alright guys, so we are pretty much done. I got a nice uh, pressure on my lever. All I got left to do is uh, get some fluid in here, put my screws on the top cover, clean the bike up, and get my cover over here on the engine. So I uh, hope this was helpful and helped you also understand how the hydraulic clutch system works. If you have a similar problem, just buy the rebuild kit 99% of the time that's all you need. If you were to take this to the dealer or, or, or motorcycle shop, they will change the whole master, uh, master cylinder, slave cylinder, whatever your problem was. And it would have cost you hundreds of dollars. So, so as you can see, doing your own work can really save you a bunch of money. And I really appreciate you watching and uh, please subscribe if you find this helpful. Thanks.